Hi folks, today we're going to be going over OSPF cost and how to change the default reference bandwidth in OSPF so that it'll differentiate gigabit ethernet links from fast ethernet links. By default in OSPF it will calculate gigabit ethernet links at fast ethernet links with the same cost of one and the reason it does that is due to a formula which we'll be going over in just a second here but in this topology I've created here I've color coded the gigabit ethernet links the color red and the fast ethernet links the color yellow so this way it'll make it uh, visually distinctive but with these links uh, I've set up OSPF and they're all uh, talking to each other in a formed adjacencies but um, the cost for both of these links is going to be one by default the reason it does that is here's the formula here it takes the reference bandwidth and the default reference bandwidth is going to be 100 and it divides it by the interface bandwidth. So we'll say, for example, a fast Ethernet link. We'll take the default reference bandwidth, which is 100, and it divides it by the interface bandwidth. For fast Ethernet, that's going to be 100, and that would equal out to 1. So the cost for a fast Ethernet link in OSPF is going to be 1 by default. If we do the same thing for gigabit Ethernet, take the default reference bandwidth of 100, divide it by the interface bandwidth of 1000, you'll actually get a smaller number of 0 0.1, but OSPF just rounds this number up and you'll end up with a 1 uh, when you have a, re a reference bandwidth of 100 like that, uh, which is default. And now uh, this effectively means that fast ethernet and gigabit ethernet links have the same cost. We can fix this, however, by simply just changing the reference bandwidth to a larger number. Uh, typically, that's going to be a thousand. And the command you're going to use to do that, um, well, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to need to go to the uh, OSPF process ID you used. So you're going to enter router OSPF 1, and that'll enter the process ID of 1 for OSPF which we this is what we have set up in this topology and then you're going to enter the command auto cost reference bandwidth and then whichever reference bandwidth you want uh, for this we're going to use a reference bandwidth of a thousand and when we do that what's going to happen is it's going to of course change the reference bandwidth and how it's going to change how cost is calculated on each of these links uh, so let's say, for example, a fast Ethernet link, like we did before. It's now going to be using a, a reference bandwidth of 1,000, and we divide that by 100 for fast Ethernet. That's going to equal out to 10. And if we do the same thing for gigabit Ethernet, default uh, re reference bandwidth of 1,000 divided by gigabit Ethernet would be 1,000. That would equal out to just one. So in this scenario, the cost is actually different, which is what we want, because um, the lower cost is going to win uh, when it comes to the routing decisions. So this is what we're going to be doing here using that auto cost reference bandwidth command. Um, but we need to make sure we do it on uh, every one of these routers for it to work properly. So first thing we're going to do is go into router. OSPF 1, which is the process ID we used when I set up OSPF on this topology. And e I can even show you this. Uh, do show run in section OSPF. There it is. So as you can see previously, I had set this up, router OSPF 1, and set up the network statement. Uh, all four of these routers have formed adjacencies, so that's not what we're worrying about right now. We're just worrying about the uh, uh, reference bandwidth. One thing I want to show you before we do that, though, just to show you this in action. Um, uh, if we use the command show IP OSPF interface, let's show this link here. So we'll use G000 for gigabit Ethernet. That's going to show the, the default cost of 1 for gigabit Ethernet. If we do the same thing for this link here, which is effectively a, um, a fast Ethernet link due to, oh, it's bottlenecked to a fast Ethernet link due to this um, router down here, which only supports fast Ethernet. If we, so if we type in this interface here, it's going to show the same cost of one, but they should, we're going to change that so that it's different. 
So the command you would enter here, whoops. Uh, if you ever do this, uh, accidentally uh, mistype something, you just type uh, control, shift, then six, and that'll get you out of there. We're gonna go back to the configuration terminal and we're gonna go router OSPF one, and we're gonna be changing the reference bandwidth. So here's the commands we can enter in uh, the OSPF configuration mode here. And we're gonna be using the first the auto cost command, the calculate OSPF interface cost according to bandwidth. So we're gonna type auto cost, then the reference bandwidth, use reference bandwidth method to assign OSPF cost. So we type in reference bandwidth, and then the reference bandwidth number. And we're gonna use, like I said, default reference bandwidth is gonna be 100. So we're gonna set it to 1000. And then you type that in, and then it's going to say, please ensure reference bandwidth is consistent across all routers, meaning we have to just enter that same command on all four of these routers here. So we're going to exit out of there, go to router 2, basically do the same thing. Cost reference bandwidth 1,000. OK. Router OSPF1, auto cost, reference bandwidth 1000. Okay. Router OSPF1, auto cost, reference bandwidth 1000. Okay. And at this point, we've changed the reference bandwidth on all four routers. Uh, in this OSPF area, this being area zero. So the reference bandwidth is now 1000. Now we're gonna check to see if OSPF is actually differentiating these links here. So we're gonna go, we're gonna hit end. We're gonna go show IP OSPF interface. And to start, we're gonna look at this interface here, which is gonna be G000, G000. Okay, and here we can see it has a cost of one, which is what it was last time. But we're gonna see the other interface and make sure that it is differentiating it. Ah, so there it goes. So this, uh, what is basically a fast ethernet link, uh, 100 megabits per second is now having a cost of 10 and the gigabit ethernet link up here is having a cost of one. So that is, uh, that's basically it as far as changing the reference bandwidth. Um, and that, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to be doing another video in the future on OSPF uh, as far as the default route. That'll be the next video I do here. But um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you enjoyed the video or you found this uh, useful, uh, please like the video and uh, thank you for watching.